Hey what's going on guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can create a mega menu like this using Elementor. To create this type of mega menu, you don't have to have Elementor Pro or any premium plugin. Here we are gonna use a free mega menu plugin where you can edit the mega menu with Elementor editor just by drag and drop, like you edit any other page or section in Elementor. So here in the mega menu, you can create any custom layout and put anything inside that. In this way, you are able to create beautiful and create menus like this. So before jumping into this video, hit the like button and if you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel to get regular WordPress creation related videos. Here first of all, we need to install a mega menu plugin. So let's go to our dashboard and under plugins, go to add new and here search for elements kit and install this one and then activate okay here we have installed this plugin but before installing this make sure you have also installed elementor on your website okay but here before creating our mega menu first of all i want to customize this header i don't want this boring logo and boring menu here so let's go to the dashboard and under elements kit go to this header footer option and from here you can create your custom header and footer which you can fully customize with your elementor editor so normally this kind of feature is available in elementor pro but when you use this elements kit plugin they will give it you for free so to create our custom header click on this add new button here and here let's give a title for our template header and from here choose the option header and also set the condition to enter site okay i want to show this header to my entire website and then turn on this option here and click on save changes okay after saving i again click on here and click on edit content and here you can put anything or any widget inside your header but here in this tutorial i don't want to show you how you can create a header from scratch Instead here I want to add a pre-made template for our header. So let's click on this elements kit icon here. And here you can see a lot of templates which you can include inside your pages. But right now I want to include a header template. So let's click on header. And from here I want to choose this one. And if you want you can also customize this content and if you want you can also delete or add any items here and here for this nav menu widget we can see it properly because we don't have selected any menu from here okay so let's first create our menu let's save this template and go to our dashboard and go to menus from here first of all let's create our menu so let's name our menu to primary menu and click on create menu and here I want to add some pages inside this menu so let's go to pages let's reorder the menu items then let's save our menu now if we again go to our header and refresh this page and click on the nav menu and right now from this drop down we can see our newly created menu okay our menu is successfully added here but i want to align this to right so let's make it horizontal position to right then let's save this and if we again go to our home page and refresh this you can see our custom header is added in our website so our first step is done we have created our custom header now here for the menu i want to add here some mega menus so let's again go to our menu options and here first of all i want to enable this mega menu option and then click on save menu and now you can see this mega menu option for each of your menu items so here i want to add a mega menu under this about item so let's click on this here and first of all turn on this 
and then click on this edit mega menu content and here you can also put anything inside your mega menu content i'll show you how you can create your mega menu from scratch but right now i want to add a pre-made template for our mega menu so let's click again on this elements kit icon and go to headers then click on mega menu content from here you can find pre-made mega menu templates here some of them are free some of them are premium like this one here is a premium one okay but i want to continue with a free one okay here this one is a free template so let's insert this then click on update and let's close this and click on save and then if we refresh our website again right now under about we can see this mega menu is successfully added but here i want to make it to full width so to make it full width let's again go to menus and go to its settings here and make it to full width and also make the menu position to default and then click on save right now you can see our mega menu is on full width so after that i want to add another mega menu under this block so again go to menus and let's close this and for the blocks let's click on this mega menu and let's enable this and click on this button okay here first of all i want to add a two column layout so let's click on this and choose this column and here on the left column i want to show some recent post of our website so let's click on this icon here and if we scroll down here we can see some widgets which is provided by the elements kit plugin and here you can see some of the widgets which is normally available in Elementor Pro but when you install this Elements Kit plugin you can also get this for free okay so I want to add the blog post widget here and here first of all I want to increase the column width here I want to make it to 75% or 74 is okay and above that I want to add a heading so let's drag this heading here i'm typing here recent post and on the right side i want to add a button let's drag this here and i want to link this button to our blog page so first of all let's edit the text for this button and change its link to our blog page so i search for the blog page and select this page and also want to align this to middle so first of all let's customize the design for this heading here i click on this edit icon and let's change its color so i go to the style tab and from here make it to fully black and change its font let's make it a little bit bold 700 and also the font size to 30 pixel or 29 and let's add some margin at the bottom so i go to advance and at the bottom let's add two pixel margin so after that let's design this blog post widget so i click on this edit icon and first of all let's make the layout style to grid with thumb and here we don't want this additional text and also this learn more button so let's hide this content here and also the read more button and here i want to show my most recent three post so i go to query and from here choose the option to recent post and then let's customize its design here i don't like this blue background color so let's go to style and change the background color to fully transparent and i also don't want this box shadow so let's go to this box shadow option and make this color to fully transparent but here you can see this post title so let's go to this title option and make its color to black here i also want to change its typography make the font family to lato and make it to 16 pixel and also increase the line height to 1.5 
and here i want to decrease the padding between these images so let's go to this featured image option and from here let's decrease its padding to zero and i also don't want a padding for this title so again go to this wrapper option and make the content padding to zero okay but at the top i want to make it to 15 pixel then for the left column i want to add some padding here so let's click on here and go to its advanced and make its padding to 45 pixel on the right side i want to make it to 55 and for the bottom let's make it to 20 and then for the right column first of all i want to make this button to align middle and also want to add a background image for that so let's click on this column here and set the vertical align to middle and go to styles and from here let's upload a background image okay let's change the background position to center center and also the size to cover then i want to add an overlay over this background image so let's click on this background overlay and from here i want to choose a gradient overlay so let's choose the first color of this gradient to this color and make it to transparent and also the second color to fully black okay then i want to increase the opacity for this overlay so let's make it to 0.7 okay our background is fully done now we need to design this button so click on this and go to its settings and from here let's change its font Montserrat okay make it to bold and the font size to 15 pixel and then let's change the text and the background color for this button make this text color to this and the background color to this and then make the border radius to 30 and let's change the padding to 18 pixel but on the left and right i want to increase this to 35 okay okay we have completed designing our mega menu now if we click on update and close this and click on save and then refresh our page again you can see our second mega menu is also added here but you can see it properly because it's transparent background so let's add a background for this mega menu okay i again go here and for this section go to its style tab and set its background to fully white and i also want to add some box shadow for this section so let's click on border and choose the box shadow okay i want to make it more blurry and make its color to more transparent okay then click on update now we can see this background has added for this mega menu but you can see this mega menu looks much smaller so let's increase the width for this mega menu okay let's close this and go to the settings here and set a custom width for this mega menu let's make it to 1000 pixel and make the position to default and click on save okay right now our menu looks beautiful so we have seen how easily we can create a mega menu for our website hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you do then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos thanks for watching i'll see you on my next